inhaler draw, they're pro-hormone. Methylated, hepatoxic, liver damage, kidney damage, jaundice, yellow eyes, all of which were side effects of the originally produced and formulated Halodrol 50. High-tech pharmaceuticals Halodrol is actually a great wet muscle builder. But most, well, they don't even know about it or move past it because the marketing over the years has blurred the lines between fact and fiction. Halodrol, one of the most effective products of all time. And then there's this one. Halodrol contains four different pro-hormones. And this is really frustrating to see because there's not even four pro-hormones in here, there's three. And I gotta do just one more Get ready for this one, it's kind of comical. High Tech Pharmaceuticals markets it as a maximal muscle myotropic developer, which is just a bunch of fancy words thrown together into an alliteration to get us to promote some sort of emotion so that we buy emotionally and not logically. My dudes, this is not the time for emotion, this is time to look at the facts. My name is Travis Dillard. And I'm here to use my 15 years experience with my own transformation, as well as when I used to own my own fitness coaching business, I helped a lot of people gain a lot of muscle. And we're here today to just simply fill the void, not just with pro hormones, but anabolics and hormones in general. Yeah, some of our favorites, like a vigorous Steve or Dr. James, we love them, but they're not talking about pro hormones. They're talking about the real anabolics, which is why today in this video, we'll be discussing what it is, the benefits, the cycle length, when to use it how to use it, the side effects, the best PCD protocol, the best problems to stack it with. And at the end, I'm going to share with you a side effect that seems to be absolutely plaguing this community. Oh, and of course, I'm going to be giving you my completely honest review. So Halodrol, let's get it. So what is the pro-hormone Halodrol? The trademark Halodrol was purchased by Hitech Pharmaceuticals in April of 2019. Now, don't get it twisted, we are far from the beginning. Well, this is an old product. In fact, in 2005 was when it was originally created by Gaspari Nutrition, more specifically, Bruce Neller, who coined the name Halodrol 50. And you could have gone to any of your nutrition shops and seen that this was sold as a dietary supplement when in reality, it was a actual methylated steroid known as Gosh, chlorodehydromethylandrostandiol. Not bad. Pretty good. That's quite the name that I never want to have to say again, but it doesn't matter because in 2006, just a year after releasing Halodrol 50, Gaspari Nutrition pulled it off the shelves. And for a good reason, because they were starting to notice that 18 year olds were showing up to the hospitals with yellow eyes, jaundice, liver failure, and a bunch of other organ damage, which we could say, okay, that's only happened for a year. It's not a big deal, except for the fact that they sold $25 million worth of product today. High tech pharmaceuticals Halodrol, yeah, it's going to be weaker and it's still going to give you some benefits, but it doesn't have the same hepatoxicity. The liver issues just aren't there. More specifically, it's 250 milligrams of yet another proprietary anabolic blend. Gosh dang it. And it's made up of mostly DHEA derived pro hormones like we've talked about and covered many times before. So here we go. Starting off with one andro which converts to one testosterone is dry. So by itself, it's going to be used for cutting and has a half life of nine days. And then we have four andro, which converts to testosterone, is wet, so by itself is going to be used for bulking, and has a half-life of four hours. Also has androsterone, which I covered in the Methoquad video, so editor, roll that clip, which is a metabolite of both testosterone and DHT. Now, 3-beta-hydroxy, we've seen that before. That's not what's in this, but remember that was epiandro. What's in androsterone is 3 alpha hydroxy, which we haven't seen before. And this one's weaker androgenically. Its potency is about one seventh that of testosterone. And if we were to categorize it, it's not wet and it's not dry. It's kind of its own thing. It's a weaker compound for sure, but it acts really fast. In fact, it has a half-life of about 20 minutes. And then we have androstenolone acetate, which up until this point, after 14 pro-hormone breakdown videos, we have yet to come across. One andro, four andro, or any pro-hormone we've covered, these are all DHEA derivatives. Androstenolone acetate, the acetate meaning a short ester with a half-life of 30 minutes. Well, this is just simply straight up DHEA, which is the father of all hormones and is a master at regulating all of our hormones and most notably known for its mood enhancement, especially when we're not feeling too great which happens from time to time. And finally, ah, you know what? Never mind, editor, let them laugh at my expense. Rapontis, raponticum carthamoids. Raponticum carthamoids. What the heck? Raponticum carthamoids. It's also known as marrow root, which is a traditional adaptogenic herb found in Russia, known to improve mood, reduce fatigue, and block myostatin. Myostatin being the thing in your body that 
prevent you from growing muscle. Have you ever seen those myostatin cows? They look huge. But the problem is, is that there's very little research done on this. So take my words with a grain of salt. Okay, so what are the benefits and results we can expect with Halodrol? The two main pro hormones here, so you've got one andro and four andro. These are both absolutely gonna lead to more muscle mass. Your strength's gonna go up, you're gonna notice that your power slowly goes up, especially as you get into week four, and the side effects are not gonna be anywhere near what they would with real steroids, or in this case, the real OG Halodrol 50, and it also has anti-proteolytic properties, which is just a fancy way of saying that it prevents muscles from being broken down. And for all my car guys out there, especially the ones who tinker while they listen to these videos, this one right here is for you, my brother. Halodrol is an amino acid catalytic converter. And much like a car uses a catalyst to accelerate the conversion of harmful gases into non-harmful ones, Halodrol enhances the utilization of amino acids into proteins, which increases protein synthesis. And it's got a 99% absorption rate because of the cyclosome delivery system, which we've talked about many times. But I did get the question yesterday, what the heck does 99% absorption even mean? And it's pretty simple, actually. When you ingest the pill, you fully absorb it and nothing is wasted. Now, in terms of DHT, because there's no epiandro in here, you're not going to have to worry about any conversion to DHT. Therefore, you're not going to have to worry about hair thinning or hair loss. So move past it. Quit talking about it. And in terms of pro-hormones, when we compare them to testosterone, I got this question yesterday and I thought it would be a cool thought experiment meant to talk through with you. So let's take a look at 4-andro specifically here, which converts into testosterone. Though we don't know for sure, right? We can look at all the testimonials in the comments section and we can be exposed to a lot of this stuff and kind of pick up some trends. And here in my bro science professional, bro science expert advice, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> 200 milligrams of testosterone is going to be roughly equivalent to 40 milligrams of 4-andro. All I'm really saying is that pro-hormones are about 20% as effective as the real gear. Now, if that's not bro-science, I really don't know what is. All right, bro. So when's the best time to use Halodrol? Just kind of as a basic rule of thumb here, if you see a 4-andro at the top of any ingredient list, you can go ahead and assume that it's going to be wet and it's going to be best for bulking. But I know that summer's coming right around the corner and you might be interested in cutting. So I'll go ahead and share with you an excellent shredding stack here at the end. Just real quick, we have close to 80 members now who'll be joining us on our eight-week journey using High Tech Pharmaceuticals' brand new product, Andriol, which is a long ester for Andro. And guys, this is going to be a great opportunity for us to support and grow and learn from each other in a world that's often very lonely. So if you're interested, we start on June 1st of 2024. Go pick up two bottles of Andriol. If you need a discount code, it's in the description as well as the link itself. As for the cycle length and dosing, this is going to be best for an eight-week cycle. And I personally recommend just one pill a day. But if you want to use two, go ahead and take for the first couple of weeks just one and then move your way over to two. But don't expect any real noticeable gains until week four. There's 30 pills in a bottle, so you'll need one bottle for an eight-week cycle. And you're going to want to watch out for the lethargy here. Wait, hang on. I'm getting ahead of myself. So what are the side effects we need to watch out for? Lethargy which continues to plague this community pretty much across every pro hormone. I've experienced it with 4-andro using Sustanon 250, others with Epiandro, others with 19-nor, and some others with 1-andro. And I don't know specifically what's causing this, but I think it might have something to do with the two-step conversion process and the toll it takes on the body. But like I said, I don't know, so I need your help. If you've taken a pro hormone and you've experienced lethargy, if you wouldn't mind in the comment section telling us what the name of the pro hormone is, how long you took it, and when you started to experience lethargy, and if you could throw in milligrams, that would help us as well. The more information you provide, the more insights we can get. And acne will definitely be a thing if you're prone. And what causes this is a fluctuation in our hormones, which you've probably heard before. But beyond that, it increases our sebum production. Sebum being the oily, waxy portion of our skin that's responsible for lubricating it. But if it increases too high, it can block our pores. And some have experienced issues falling asleep, which in our case can be caused by an increase in fluid retention, because we know that 4-andro aromatizes into estrogen, which side effect of high estrogen is moodiness, and bloat, aka water retention. So you're gonna wanna be sure that you have a rim stain on hand and use only if you need it. Do not take it preventatively. I personally, when I'm running a 4-andro, take it every three days. And 4-andro is the most suppressive pro-hormone when compared to any other pro-hormone. So do we need a PCT? Absolutely we do. And if you wanna know what that looks like, click the link above and it'll play right after this one. And guys, I went super hard in the paint this week with these stacks. So without further ado, let's take a look at the best pro-hormones to stack with Halo Draw. I've got a very stern dad to son type message here in a second for a very specific person. But let's stay focused. Halodrol contains three main pro hormones one andro, four andro, and androsterone. It has a pretty good side supporting ingredient, but it's not a pro hormone, androstenolone acetate. So by itself, standalone, this is going to be a great product. 
But if you want to lean into the bulking properties of 4-Andro, I would actually move over to a 1-4-Andro like Equipoise, which is going to increase your hunger and make sure that you get in your food. But there's been a ton of confusion on 1-4-Andro, so I wanted to take a second to clear things up a little bit. I personally was confused myself. I thought that the 1 and 4-Andro, which, is it a 1-Andro? Is it a 4-Andro? I thought that 1-Andro was more active than 4-Andro, so I considered it to be dry. But after further research, I was dead wrong. 4-Andro is equally as active as the 1-Andro. Therefore, it's got to be considered wet. And the reason this matters is because if it's wet, it means it can increase our estrogen. Therefore, we are going to need a remistate on hand. And as I promised at the beginning of this video, I put together a nice, clean cutting stack for you because we're approaching the summer and we want to look dang good. We actually put two together because we go above and beyond around here. And if you are getting value from this information, please tap that like button to bring more people into our world so we can learn more about these products. So let's start simple. Halodraw, I don't know why I just did that with my hand. Halodraw mixed with one testosterone. So the Halodraw is going to bring you four andro, one andro, and androsterone. And the one testosterone is going to bring you some extra dryness with some extra one andro. So it's going to give you a little harder lines. Now for the ultimate cutting stack. So if you're on the one andro, so one testosterone or just on 250 phase where you're just taking a standalone, you are not here yet. You wait. So we're going to keep it simple. Again, we're going to say Halodraw mixed with one testosterone. So same as before. And then we're going to add dimethazine on top. So let's recap. From the Halodraw, we're going to get one andro, four andro, and androsterone. From the one testosterone, we're going to get one andro. And then with the dimethazine, we're going to get epiandro. And this is really going to dry you out. So be sure you have a joint support on hand. Okay. I want to speak to a very specific person right now. So the rest of you, you can go. Totally kidding. I love you guys. You can stay. But I'm talking to you. You know that having just six months of gym time under your belt is not enough time. I know because I've been there. And I know that you know this and you're looking for me to say otherwise. But because I've been there, I also know that yes, you may be desperate for the gains. But right now is the time that you should be using to build the base, to reach your genetic potential and to soak up all the information you possibly can like a sponge. But I also know that that's not the answer you want to hear. So let's go ahead and reframe it. The discipline that you use right now is the same discipline that you can use to reach your goals later. For instance, had I chose not to get behind a camera nine years ago and to keep doing more and more and I just said, yeah, you know what? I don't want to wait. Well, I wouldn't be here. And you wouldn't be here watching because the discipline I built back then is the same discipline required of me to be here now, be here now and timing. That's everything. And you're just a little early, my dude. So with the exception of the proprietary blend, I'm a huge fan of Halodrol, two thumbs up. But if you want to see Halodrol's close cousin, here is Methaquad. Until next week, <laughs> stay safe and stay swole, my brothers.